This is me. You see a nice country. You are all uh, invited. Uh, this is me. Randeep said about me, so I will not go over. My name is Ishai, which means there is God. Well, it's up to you to decide if this is true or not. Uh, I also work with the Galilee International Management uh, uh, Institute. We make a lot of training programs for managers uh, from all over the world, in Israel and abroad. I want to start a little bit with uh, some information about Israel, cybersecurity industry. This is Israel. Actually, a very small uh, country with less than 9 million people. Small country that makes a lot of noise. Israeli are very noisy, a bit arrogant, very direct, but uh, very dynamic as well. Uh, the Israeli high tech industry is going up and up and up in the last year. The number of high-tech firms is growing all the time, and the number of startups is growing all the time. We like to call ourselves the startup nation. Uh, many international companies, the largest technological companies in the world, have their research and development centers in Israel, and this is also going up. With respect to cybersecurity, uh, there are more than 350 companies. There are more than 50 new cyber startups every year. Uh, you saw we are less than 1% of the population in the world, much less than 1%, but 15% of the global investment in cybersecurity is in Israel, and almost 10% of the global cybersecurity sales are from Israel. Uh, in number, the number of companies, we are second in the world, only after the United States. Again, remember the number of the population. This is incredible. Uh, we have very special training facilities for cybersecurity people. The, I think they are the most advanced in the world. So cybersecurity people are coming, they are trained. Some of them play the bad guys. By the way, the bad guys in cybersecurity are called black hat. We have black hat and we have white hat. So the bad ones and the good ones. Uh, so I want to divide my session with you into two parts. The first part will be a lecture, one and a half hour, then we'll go to coffee break. And after the coffee break, we will play a game together and we'll see how good <laughs> managers you are. Okay, so it will be a game, a simulation, of a cyber, a cyber attack, and we'll see if you know what to do. Okay, so let's start. First thing, global cyber trends and threats, a general background. Anytime, anywhere, it can happen. You heard a lot about the digital society, the digital economy. Well, cybersecurity is the dark side of this 
digital economy and digital society. It goes hand in hand with the involvement of digital society and probably it will stay with us for the next future. Statistics about cybersecurity is not always true. We don't have enough numbers about cyber attacks in the world because organizations don't like to tell about cyber attacks when they are attacked. But in general, we can see that the number of cyber attack is growing. But the number of cyber attack is not the important issue. The important issue is the sophistication of the cyber attack. They become more sophisticated and they are aimed at new technologies and new areas all the time. So similar to that we have a lot of new digital projects, new startups in the digital industry, we have all the time also startups in the cyber attacks. This is why we cannot just learn what happened in the past and to be sure that it will not happen to us anymore, but all the time we have to fight new ways of attacks. Some industries have more problems. The energy sector, the banking sector, the communication sector are those sectors that cyber attackers like more. The reasons are different. The banking sector is attractive because there is money there. And people like money. The energy and the communications are uh, uh, attractive for cyber attackers or for those cyber attackers that like to interfere in the provision of public services. Also, transport, transportation is attractive and I believe it will become more and more attractive the more uh, unmanned vehicles we will see and the more uh, Internet of Things solution we will see in this sector. The number of viruses and either malware is also growing all the time and we have many, many variations. So again, if we succeed once, does it mean that we'll succeed in the next year? I've been in several countries and I heard people say, oh, we had already attacks on our website and we succeeded very easily to, to defend ourselves against it. And I'm telling them the next attack will not be the same as the previous one. In Israel we say, don't fight the previous war. The next war will be always different. There are several types of cyber attack players. We have the criminals. You know the criminals, those who like to rob the banks. This is a, not a new issue. We had criminals from the beginning of humanity. 
but of course now they use other means. Unfortunately, we also have nation states that now fight with other means, not with tanks, not with airplanes, but with cyber attacks. And you hear about some of these nation state attacks in the news, but this is only a very small portion of what it is in reality. You have the hacktivists. Hacktivists are social activists, people that have social environmental agenda. They don't like the, the government. They don't like what the government is doing. So they protest by means of cyber attacks. And we also have the insiders. People who work within the organizations and for some reasons either they are not happy with their work or they were fired, they assist in internal cyber attacks. I'll show you later, this is a main issue. This is a main issue because unlike the other players, insiders are part of your organization and you cannot suspect all the time in your employees. You need to believe in them. You need to give them the opportunity to work, the possibility to work with the computers of the organizations. And this is how they get access. There are different motivations for cyber attacks, money, power, control, just the feeling of control. We can turn off the lights of the city, which has happened already in Ukraine. Publicity, some of us like to see our names in the newspaper. Revenge, just disrupt something, spy. There is a lot of spying in the cyber stress, in the cyber uh, uh, zone. And some people, some of them are young children, they do it just for the fun. As you can see, it can happen to the best of us. CIA, Pentagon, White House, all of them have been attacked or success, successfully attacked. Governmental agencies are especially attractive for cyber attackers, not because there is money there, those of you who work in the governmental agencies know that you don't get paid that much, so there is not a lot of money there. But it's something symbolic to attack a governmental institute. So governmental agencies are especially attractive for cyber attackers, but also commercial firms, companies, again, as you can see, the top commercial companies in the world have been attacked, successfully attacked. You can see the numbers of information pieces that have been stolen from the systems. It's incredible. We are talking about millions. Oh, sorry. About millions. 40 million 
76 million pieces of information about customers. And actually, you ask yourself, what are they going to do with all this information? We, we don't know, in many cases, what are they going to do with all this. Some of them will be used in order to steal money, but not all of them. Some of them will be offered in the dark ma in the black market. The cyber black market is called the dark net. If you heard this notion, they sell it to other criminals, to other cyber attackers. And some of this information are just kept sometimes for years and then the cyber attackers use it or use them in order to do something with this account. You know who is? What is his name? Huh? No? Know him, we don't know the name. <laughs> well, it doesn't have a name. He's anonymous. <laughs> anonymous is one of the most famous group groups of cyber attackers in the world. Actually, nobody knows who exactly belongs to this group, but they operate internationally. Just a few examples. Greece, the Central Bank of Greece, Indonesia, South Korea have been attacked by this group. Again, you can see that they are attacking symbols of government, central banks. In central banks, there, are no, there is no money. Central bank is a regulator. Beside that cheese, very beautiful. Huh? Who is she? Huh? Taylor Swift. Who? Taylor Swift. Okay, say it loud. <laughs> I'm used to uh, the, to Israeli students. They are shouting. Okay, Taylor Swift. And why uh, she's here with us today? If you know the answer, you get the dinner with her. <laughs> She's famous. She's famous. Ah, uh -huh. okay. But so are you? I mean, I must be there. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, for two reasons. First, her account with her pictures, personal picture, pictures was hacked, and the bad guys took all her pictures and they publish them in the internet and they sent her an email 
saying that if you don't pay us, we will publish more and more pictures, especially those that you don't want people to see. But she was brave enough, and she said, well, she said a, a very brute answer with four letters. <laughs> four letters, you. <laughs> so, uh, but she said, uh, okay, I'm not going to pay. This is very brave because other celebs pay. But the second reason I show her is this. Bangladesh Central Bank, SWIFT, the global bank transfer system, it's not after her name, but uh, it's also SWIFT. Uh, Bangladesh Central Bank was hacked, and I think the number is even more than this. 80 million dollars have been stolen by using, entering the global bank system. This made a lot of noise in the banking system because it wasn't only a problem of the Bangladesh Central Bank, it was now a problem of the global bank transfer system. So the CEO of the Bangladesh Bangladesh, uh, Bangladesh Bank resigned and by the way this is a way if you don't like your CEO or general manager to a successful cyber attack and then he has to resign. There are many types of cyber attacks. I'm not going to enter to all of them there are many combinations of cyber attacks and there are new combinations of cyber attacks. I just want to show you two examples just to you feel that they are very sophisticated attacks. I'm not going to take to talk in technological terms. You see, only from these pictures, from this picture you see that it is a complex issue. This is a sort of cyber attack which is called watering hole. It, it says that if the attackers want to attack one organization, let's say a central bank, by the way, all the slides in these presentations reflect real events. Nothing here is theoretical. So, if the attackers want to attack an organization, in that case, one example was the Central Bank of Poland. But they know that this Central Bank of Poland has quite good cyber security measures. So what are they doing? They are going to other organizations that work with the Central Bank of Poland. Vendors, suppliers, and they start spying which systems are the weakest here. And when they found out which is the weakest, uh, which organization has the weakest systems, they enter here, and from here they go here. This is exactly what happened uh, for the, in the Central Bank of Poland. They went here, and by the way, from here they enter the systems or the banking system. So they enter to other banks, other Polish banks. So you see, sometimes it's a very complicated route, and you never know where it can come from. 
โอเคนะครับเดี๋ยวเราสรุปให้แบบนะครับอันนี้อันดับแรกก่อนนะครับว่าจริงๆตอนนี้ก็เริ่มเริ่มอะไรของเริ่มต้นต้นก่อนนะครับว่าเรื่องของสเกลตี้เนี่ยนะครับที่วันนี้เราผู้เชี่ยวชาญจากอิสราเอลมาเนี่ยนะครับพออิสราเอลนี่เขามีมายเซฟตี้อะไรเงี้ยแตกต่างนะครับพูดแล้วนะครับว่าเห็นไหมว่าในการจะลบกับสงครามใช่ไหมนะครับโกงเลยนะไม่ใช่เตรียมลบกับของเก่าเลยต้องเตรียมลบกับของใหม่นะครับต้องคนพูดกันอยู่พอใส่เราพูดกันนะมองไปในอนาคตมันจะเกิดอะไรขึ้นนะครับเขาคลาสสิฟายนะครับแฮกเกอร์เนี่ยใช่ไหมแน่นอนคริสเตนอลที่เขาบอกนะครับแต่จริงแล้วจะมีอีกหลายกลุ่มใช่ไหมหนึ่งก็คืออ่ะที่บอกแอคทิวิสก็คืออะไรคนที่อยากจะแฮกนะครับอาจจะคนที่ไม่พอใจไปบางประเด็นไม่บอกหรือคนทั่วไปเนี่ยนะครับที่ดีๆเนี่ยนะครับอาจจะไม่พอใจไอ้ควาเรเมนต์ไปแฮกลงอะไรนะลงเมืองอะไรเงี้ยนะครับเมืองโอเปนฟ้าตาถิ่นอะไรก็ว่าไปนะครับหรือว่าที่ประเทศที่เราไม่มีปัญหาเยอะหน่อยคือเซฟบอร์เดอร์แต่เป็นประเทศที่อะไรแฮกเตอร์บางอย่างนะครับเกาหลีเหนือเอ่ยอะไรเอ่ยนะครับนะที่กันที่อย่างนะแล้วก็อีกคนนึงก็คืออะไรที่น่ากลัวก็คืออะไรอินไซเดอร์คือคนในเนี่ยคนข้างๆเราเนี่ยนะนะครับแล้วเพิ่มไปกี่เขาก็ยกตัวอย่างมาใช่ไหมว่าซีโอต้องอะไรลาออกเลยในหลายเคสเพราะฉะนั้นถ้าไม่ชอบนายก็เป็นไงให้ข้อคัดแยกเกินไปเดี๋ยวนี้เขาบอกว่าไอ้ไซเบอร์เทเรตี้เนี่ยมันเป็นไงปัญหามันเป็นไงเติมขึ้นเรื่อยๆนะครับเติมขึ้นเรื่อยๆนะครับแน่นอนระดับแรกก็คือเอาเงินนะครับก็โชว์มาแต่เดี๋ยวนี้เขาก็โชว์มาว่าแต่ที่มันโผล่มาตอนหลังเนี่ยที่มันเยอะขึ้นก็มีอะไรด้านเอเนจีนะครับพลังงานด้านแรงงานคอนเทนเชนจะเป็นการด้านคอมมิวนิเคชันพวกนี้ทำอะไรทำเพื่ออะไรครับทำเพื่อสร้างความสับสนใช่ไหมครับเพื่อสร้างความผันผวนในสังคมนะครับต่างๆเหล่านั้นแล้วก็ยังคลาสสิฟายเขาก็ไปยังแบบกลุ่มอีกว่าอะไรไซเบอร์อะไรแบบนี้สองอย่างคือเอาตังค์ในรายการมีตัวนึงก็คืออะไรเล่นคนที่มีชื่อเสียงนะครับเป็นซีโมลิกเขาอธิบายไปนะเรื่องคดีอะไร CIA คนหน้า CIA โดนแฮกนะครับคนนี้โดนแฮกนะครับแต่บางทีบางแฮกก็แบบเอาตังค์อย่างเช่นเดี๋ยวบอกเซเลอร์จะขอตังค์แต่ไม่ให้แต่บางคนให้ก็ว่ากันมาครับนั้นมันมีหลายทางเลยนะครับมันมีความซับซ้อนเยอะนะครับแต่ว่าที่แน่ๆที่มันฟันผมไปอย่างนึงคือเป็นไงมันเดินขึ้นเรื่อยๆนะครับแล้วก็ความเสี่ยงก็ยกตัวอย่างให้ฟังว่ามีอะไรมีมีอะไรแอนโนมัสใช่ไหมกลุ่มแฮกเกอร์ที่เป็นใครนะครับแต่เขาแท็กเขาแท็กเป็นตัวแทนต่างๆนะครับเพื่ออาจจะเป็นซีโพลิกอะไรสักอย่างนะครับว่าเขาสามารถทําได้นะครับแต่ว่าตอนนี้ก็เข้ามาถึงวิธีการนะครับวิธีการของเขานะครับเขาบอกว่าการแฮกเนี่ยมันไม่ใช่ว่าแฮกตรงๆใช่ไหมเราหมายถึงเขาเราจะบอกเราว่าการป้องกันไม่ใช่ง่ายนะใช่ไหมปรากฏว่าเขาไม่ได้แฮกตัวแบงค์ไอ้แบงค์ของของโปแลนด์เลยเขาไปแวะอะไรแล้วไฟเออร์หรือใครก็ตามที่เชื่อมต่อกับแบงค์ของโปแลนด์ใช่ไหมครับแล้วคนนั้นที่เป็นไงอ่อนสุดที่มีสิทธิ์เกี่ยวกับที่อ่อนสุดเขาจับคนนั้นเข้าไปแล้วก็ผ่านเข้าไปซึ่งปรากฏว่าเขาอะไรจะพูดว่ามันดูยากไงนะครับมันไม่ใช่ป้องกันง่ายๆมันไม่ใช่ป้องกันแค่ตัวเรานะคนที่ติดต่อกับเราก็ต้องอะไรก็ต้องแข็งแรงด้วยนะครับก็คือความยากนะครับสุดท้ายเลยผมอยากจะจบตรงที่ว่าเฉพาะเทศนี้นะอย่างเงี้ยแบบที่เราเชิญเข้ามาเนี่ยเขาเรียกอะไรเนี่ยหมายเสร็จเขาค่อนข้างดีนะครับเดี๋ยวแต่ข้อมันฟังบอกว่าเคยดูหนังสี่วอลไหมสองปีอ่ะแบบที่เป็นมันก็จะมีคนสิบคนแม้คนที่สิบจะคนตัดสินใจนะครับวิธีการเขาว่าลบไปเลยนะครับโอเค another example show you but sometimes it can be Easy to attack. This is a, another type of attack. This kind of attack, attack uh, cyber attackers use when they don't know the password. You know, every one of us uses password, and if they don't know password, they send million of passwords to the computer of the organization. So maybe one of them will succeed. This is called brute force attack, and you can buy. This is an application to to prepare these millions of passwords. You can buy this application in the black market in the dark net, and then when you buy it, it's and it. Goes into the organization that you want to attack, but 
Technology is only part of the game. And one of the main issues that bother that bothers people who are do, working in cybersecurity are these two. Maybe you can <coughs> translate these two terms. So you know social engineering? Uh, in so, cyber. <laughs> social engineering is using human weaknesses in order to make them assist in cyber attacks. Okay? And insider threats are people who work inside the organization. That's what the question is. You know, those Nigeria email. Yeah, one all second. All well we'll come we'll come to okay. that in a second. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So what I want to say is that the human factor is very important in these cyber wars because the human factor is each one of us. And cyber attackers in the most complex attacks use something of this in order to succeed, to penetrate, or to make the first penetration to the organization. There are names for that. Fishing, smishing, and fishing. <laughs> you know, feed the fish. Fishing is using our weaknesses by email. Smishing is by text, SMS. And wishing is by voice, by telephone calls. They call you, they tell you a story. I can tell you many stories how they cheated people and made them do something that will help them enter the systems. So remember the fish because you are the fish. We, all of us. It looks like that. Again, this is a real email. This is in Russian. This is the translation. So what the more sophisticated attackers know to do is to send specific emails, not just a general general emails to many people contribute to but specific mails with specific names with specific position so it is very hard for the people in the organization to know that this is not a true email for example Belgian bank loses 70 million euros. Look at the numbers. And I show you examples from the most advanced countries. When they cheat a CEO or general manager, they don't call it fishing, they call it whaling. You know whale is a <laughs> big one. Okay? like that. They send an email, when you get it, you are sure that the CEO or the general manager sent it to you. You see, it's not a general mail, it's a specific mail, it looks like a real mail within the organization. And most of us, if we get an email from the CEO, often the general manager, of course we will do it without asking any questions. Yeah, because we don't dare ask questions our managers. The last sort of cyber attack that I want to refer to are the ransomware attacks. 
those attacks that after the attack or during the attack they request money and if you don't pay money they are disabling your ability to use your data, your information. Usually they ask the money in Bitcoin. You heard the Bitcoin? I mean, everybody heard about it. Did you see the Bitcoin? I guess nobody saw it. Okay, in the exercise we do something about it. Okay. of cyber attack. This attack, this year, which was a ransomware attack, hit many countries at the same time, by the way, including Thailand. So a group of people, nobody knows exactly where they sit, who they are. By the way, in most cases, we don't succeed to capture the whole groups of attackers, even after many years. So you see, they attacked at the same time many countries in the world. So this is the globalization of cyber attack. And this is why one of the reasons why cooperation between countries is so important in this issue. In Southeast Asia, the, the Bangladesh, but every country had it had its nice attack. And if we talk about Thailand, maybe you can translate some of these headlines. Yeah. 
บอกว่าเราเป็นพอร์ตตัวที่ปลายนั่นเนี่ยโอ้โหเป็นออนเนอร์เลยเนี่ยขนาดดูวิ่งพิเศษของเราจะแค่26นแล้วนายกดีใจแต่ตายขาดแล้วนะอันนี้ของเราที่ไซเบอร์ซาเบอร์ไซเบอร์ของเราที่เห็นพอร์ตตัวที่ปลายเลยนะครับถ้าใครไปแต่งข่าวเนี่ยนะเทคโนโลยีเพิ่มของไมโครซอฟท์นะครับนะนะครับแล้วก็มีอะไรอีกเนี่ยอย่างล่าไทยแลนด์มีมอร์เซเบอร์สเคียวิตี้นะครับเอาที่ของเอฟได้เองนะครับมีตัวแทนเลยเนี่ยนะครับเราเพิ่มขึ้นขึ้นบอกว่าอะไรเพิ่มขึ้นสิบเปอร์เซ็นต์ต่อปีนะครับการีหน้าเกมของลูกเล่นเนี่ยอันนี้นะครับชัดดาวไวเซเบอร์แทนมุ้ยที่ผมชอบแทน that's that's the the right one is the good one so by some stop playing that one You play, I start play. No, your son together with you. I've seen it. I said it's not now. It's not now. So let's do it. Oh, he can play. I think it'll be part of it. Okay. Let us learn somewhere. Why not? I can. I can. Okay. I'll learn somewhere. Okay. Okay. You see, we got a problem. Okay. 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 Some strategies and policies. I'll go in brief on that. What we've seen, I mean, your training program is mainly on that. We have growing cyber risk, and because of that, we have more regulation, more regulation with regard to cyber security. By the way, you will get this presentation later. So, in many countries, they are preparing nowadays, these days, a national cybersecurity strategy. This is New Zealand, Australia, United Kingdom, Poland, Singapore. These are just few examples of a cybersecurity strategy on the national level. In addition, there are new laws and new regulations on data protection. These are, you see, these are not few. These are many examples in the world. One of the most important internationally was mentioned yesterday, the general data protection regulation of the EU, European Union. Its main principles are increased territorial scope, it means that this regulation applies not only to company, to local companies, but also to foreign companies that operate in your countries, in your country, to company, local companies that work abroad and transfer of data between countries. Consent was mentioned yesterday, you need the customers, the clients need to give the consent for the use of data, but at the same time, they also have the right to be forgotten. If you don't want some agency or some company to have your data, you have the right to tell them, forget me. It doesn't hold for, for example, for tax, Authority, you have to pay tax. I mean, you cannot tell them, forget me, okay? <laughs> or the police, if you are doing something wrong, you cannot tell them, forget me, okay? <laughs> so, <coughs> so pay your taxes and don't make any criminal acts, okay? Uh, in each organization, there must be the data protection officer on a high level, breach notification. This requires, requires companies to report immediately when they are attacked.
to the national or sectoral regulator or CERT. In a second, I will talk about the CERT. So companies cannot hold this information for themselves. They have to notify about it. Because until now, a lot of organizations didn't say to anyone else that they were attacked. They didn't want customer to know, customers to know about it. And the last important thing are <coughs> penalties. In case of a breach, regulators can find a lot of money from the organization. So this is not a voluntary framework. This is something that if you don't act according to the regulation, something happened, you're going to pay a lot of money. One of my main messages when it comes to cybersecurity is that technology is not everything. It's only part of it. And when we talk about the national level, there are other dimensions that are important as well. We have the organization, how we organize our institutions that are responsible about cyber security on the national level, on the sectoral level. Who is responsible on what? We have law enforcement agencies, police, secret agencies. We have the Ministry of Justice. We have the Prime Minister office. All of them are relevant and of course we have the army all of them are relevant to the organization of cyber security we have regulation that we talked about just now capacity building mainly people skilled people to deal with it and this is a major challenge in every country and cooperation cooperation within the country and cooperation with other countries. So to see, again, you will get it printed. Each of these dimension includes several items. All of them are important for the national cybersecurity. Okay, thank you. Yeah. You could say six.
ก็คือบังคับให้อะไรขอที่ต้องต้องต้องมีตัวนี้อยู่แล้วก็มีเดี๋ยวเซนไม่มีก็แบบขอโทษครับจบนะลืมจากอะไรประมาณนั้นนะครับข้างหน้าเอาไปวันต้นคือมันตัวใหญ่นะครับโอเค next slide please นะครับแล้วก็นี้เขาก็พูดถึงนะครับ framework ในระดับประเทศนะครับโอเคแล้วก็ that regulation ก็เป็นแค่เครื่องมือหนึ่งถูกไหมครับ regulation ก็แค่เครื่องมือหนึ่งนะครับแล้วก็พูดถึงเรื่องของอะไรโครงสร้างโครงสร้างองค์กรนะครับว่าเป็นยังไงจะมีคนทำงานเรื่องนี้ไหมนะครับพูดถึงคาร์บอนที่อยู่นี่ก็คือทักษะของคนนะครับนะครับและซึ่งก็อยากจะบอกใช่ไหมทักษะของใครครับลึกๆก็คือ user ทุกคนใช่ไหมเพราะเราง่ายมากที่จะไปแก้กลุ่มโซเชียลอยู่ในนี้ตรวจเข้าไปได้นะครับเทคโนโลยีใช่ไหมแต่ครนี้ก็ต้องยามอีกทีว่าเทคโนโลยีเป็นไงเป็นเพียงอะไรหนึ่งส่วนหกใช่ไหมหนึ่งส่วนหกเท่านั้นเองนะครับด้านหนึ่งที่น่าสนใจมันกันกันคงกันข้ามกับอะไรที่บอกว่าเป็นเรื่องโอเปอเรชั่นนะครับจำเป็นจะต้องมีแหละการรู้เหมือนนะครับจะเป็นรู้เหมือนการระบาดภายในประเทศนอกประเทศเดี๋ยวตรงนี้จะเป็นเรื่องสำคัญเลยข้อมูลเป็นไงคืออะไรกูไม่อยากแบ่งใครเดี๋ยวใช่ไหมแต่ว่ามันจะเป็นหน้าเป็นตามันเป็นเรื่องอะไรอันนี้เป็นเรื่องที่ปิ๊กเราเป็นเรื่องเรื่องเรื่องเรื่องยากพอสมควรนะครับแต่ว่าจําเป็นจะต้องมีเพราะอะไรเพราะว่าอย่างที่บอกไงเป็นโซเชียลเน็ตเวิร์กบางอย่างใช่ไหมที่เขาบอกว่าคุณถูกจอบไปแล้วคุณอาบอายคุณยอมยินดีที่จะจ่ายค่าถ่ายนี่หรอใช่ไหมแต่ว่าจริงๆไม่ไงคนอื่นโดนด้วยคนอื่นก็จะไม่รู้ใช่ไหมมันก็ไม่ทําไม่ได้แชร์ออกมาเราก็จะไม่ได้ละป้องกันในเรื่องต่างๆเพราะฉะนั้นเรื่องนี้มันกลายเป็นเรื่องสำคัญพอสมควรว่าจะทำยังไงให้เกิดโปรเจกชันเพราะว่าส่วนนึงมันเป็นไงมันเป็นเรื่องส่วนตัวไอ้ผู้ดีมันจะเป็นมอร์โปรเจกชันแต่เซนิสดิฟิเคิล because Why security is private, but cooperation is public. You know, something like you, you share something between private, something that you know to achieve more or something like that. But, you know, it's but th these are serious challenges, but we are going in this direction. I mean, you need okay. the cooperation. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Uh, just few numbers. When it comes to skill. Of course, the technical skills are very important, but not less important is the ability of the technical people to understand the business. Cyber attackers are aiming at the business. The systems are only the means for that. And if the technical people don't understand the, the business, they cannot protect the organization very well. So we put a lot of emphasis, not only on technical skills, but to understand the, the business. When I'm saying the business, if the technical person works in a bank, he needs to know better what are the business transactions. What does it mean to the customer? Not only the servers and the firewalls and the network. Another thing which is very important is not only detection, the regular operation to look if something is wrong, but it's to know how to act once you have a cyber attack. We call it incident response or incident response skills and this is very difficult or complicated issue which I want to talk about it in my last part uh, but before that this is the national one of the the main uh, new authorities <coughs> On the national level to deal with cyber security, with the national security, the cyber security authority. In many countries, they established now such authorities. Uh, I'm consulting to the Israel National Cyber Security Authority. Uh, we don't have time. I'll show you later. This is the we call it not we. It's called CERT. Uh, computer emergency readiness team 
which now in many countries is being established. This is the technical uh, detection team and they give also support during an attack. So organizations, especially large organizations that have a problem with respect to cyber, they contact this national cert and they talk with it and they try to solve the problems together. Uh, other function of this national cybersecurity authority is to assist organizations in preparing themselves to cyber attacks. So this is a methodology that is published in the internet and every organization can download it and it assists organizations to prepare themselves. Now coming to the organization's level, till now I talked about the national level. Each organization needs these days a good cybersecurity framework. I'm just I'm going fast because it includes many aspects. It starts here. Governance, leadership, the board. Not it doesn't start with the technological people. And then we have awareness, education, then we need tools and procedure for to identify threats, and then mitigation policies, it means procedures and tools to deal with cyber attacks. And we have also audits to see that we are ready. I'm not going to talk about everything. One of the procedures or methodologies to see that we are preparing ourselves well enough to cyber attack is risk management. Risk management we have in other areas as well, but it is now developing with reference to cyber security. It starts with identifying threats and then assess risk, etc. Are you familiar with risk management you are doing in your organization? Yes. Actually, the methodology is the same. The content is different, so you made a professional server in the organizations, on your systems, on your work processes, on the awareness, and you put them in high, low, and what are the recommended control. So this is a survey that you do once in two years, but it has to be updated all the time. Uh, so this is an important step in the preparedness. Another thing that you have to do is to prepare an incident response plan incident response plan, sometimes it's a long book, but books are only books, so also you need the tools and the practice, how to do it. So in Israel, every large organization is doing the risk management on cybersecurity and prepares a detailed incident response plan. What happens? How do we have to act once a cyber attack occurs? Important thing is cyber education within the organization. The, ma the top managers, the middle management, and also the users. We saw that one problem or issue in, is the social engineering and insiders. So 
we also provide educational or awareness trainings for non-technological people. Okay. โอเคเมื่อกี้เค้าก็สรุปนะครับไม่ใช่แค่พูดถึงนะครับการซ่อมกันนะครับนี้ในประเด็นขององค์กรนะครับในประเด็นขององค์กรก็บอกแล้วว
is or might be not in our organization but in our supplier. We need to take care of our customer service and doesn't matter, it, it, this holds also for governmental agency because the citizens are their customers. And then to our cash flow, to our business. And finally, to our reputation. And this is a strategic issue because reputation or bad reputation can harm you in the long term. So we need to take care of various areas during a crisis management or an incident response. And as you can see, the technological issue is only one dimension. Again, this is my main message to everybody, to workers and managers. Cybersecurity is not just an IT problem. It is a business problem. The American National Institute for Standards published what he called the cybersecurity framework, and it has the, uh, this very nice graph, which it says briefly, cybersecurity starts here with the executive level, it goes through the business processes, and then to the technology. They call it from the boardroom to the server room. From the boardroom to the server room. So uh, crisis management or cyber incident response, all these levels need to be involved. but not only vertically, also horizontally. A cyber response involves the management and of course the information security people, but also the legal advisors, public relations, the business units, risk management, other IT, experts that are responsible about the affected systems and human resource in case these are insiders. So you see we have a lot of internal stakeholders involved in such an incident but we also have external stakeholders customers and media, our vendors, internet providers, law enforcement agencies. So when we talk about incident response or crisis management, we are talking about a web of stakeholders that need to be involved and need to be coordinated. So how do we coordinate all these stakeholders? And I'm going to do it very briefly. We establish an organizational setup for crisis management within the organization. By the way, this is a generic setup for all types of crisis, organizational crisis. We have the boards, the CEO, then we have two, level, two levels of respond. The managerial decision, you remember the Greek word, the managerial decision making level, and the professional team. Of course, they work in coordination. 
but here the technological and professional actions and decisions are taken and here the strategic and managerial and business decisions are taken. Technological people should not take business decisions. They are not supposed to say what are we going to do uh, with the bank account, what are we going to do with our customers, what sort of PR we are going to to use in the media. This is not the professional team. This is the managerial response team. You have it in more detail in the presentation that you'll get. But the last thing is very important also to remember the other parties that are involved, the stakeholders, the media. If you are a public company, you need to see what is happening with your shares and relevant employees and suppliers. So this is the organizational setup for a case of cyber attack. And this is something that must be planned to decide who is here, who is here, to give them the right tools and the right procedures, how to work, and to exercise them, to practice them. I'm going very briefly. I just want you to know that there are such methodologies. I don't want you to know them in detail. There are best practices, how to handle a response. So you, we see we have several stages. In each stage, we need to take other decisions or other actions. You have it. I will not. I just want you to know that there are best practices, and you need to integrate them into your organization. There are also, of course, technological solutions. There is no one system against cyber attacks. There are many systems. In some banks in Israel, they have more than 50, 50 systems to protect themselves against cyber attacks. So you have several sorts of solutions You heard a lot about artificial intelligence. It is entering also in the evolution of the technological solution because the threats are, there are numerous threats, new threats all the time, and you cannot, you cannot depend on past experience. You need all the time to deal with new sorts of attacks and because we have many sorts of informations and many systems we need integration and this is something that in Israel we work very hard on this how to bring all the information from all the sensors into one monitoring system. Last And this is the last slide for this part. There is what we call a shutdown dilemma. When you are attacked and one of your system one of your systems doesn't work, or data has been manipulated or is wrong, a very tough decision is to decide whether to continue working with this system. Example, if your website, your organizational website has been attacked and all of the sudden there are some, I don't know, some notes on the website, you have been attacked or, or something like that or some web services are not working, 
you need to decide whether to continue providing these web services to the, to the public. This is a very tough decision which must be taken by the management of the organization because if you shut down your, all your websites, you have a problem. You get after that very angry customers, you get lawsuits, the regulator is, some of you are regulators, huh? Yes? Yeah. So when there is a problem in one of your regulated companies, you like to jump on it and punish it. So this is a very serious problem. Or if your data has been affected and you have some wrong data about customers, you also need to decide, um, I will continue working with it and try to fix it during on the fly, or I'm going to shut down the systems. And this is a very important decision to make. And we'll come back to this in the next part of our lecture in the exercise. So, coffee break. Okay, I have to do my job first. You have to, okay. <laughs> Otherwise you don't get the coffee. Yeah. Okay, this is the action of the company. Okay, this is the action of the company. นะครับแล้วมีเค้าบอกว่าเค้าเป็นคนแรกแล้วที่ประเทศมันใหญ่อย่างนี้ผมก็ที่จะว่าเออใครสิทธิ์ไหนเช่นคืออะไรใช่ม
Okay. They, they ask you your opinion, so I forward to you. She asks this one. She say, she heard that blockchain can solve attacker, right? Okay, can solve a problem attacker. Is it true or is it not true or something? What does she think? What does she think? Ah, uh, he he asked you to reply. What do you think? What is it? Ah, answer yes or no. Uh, I'm not sure the 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 the, the answer. Don't but believe technicians. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm old enough to know that the in the past there were many te technologies that said this is the ultimate solution. You work with ERP, SAP. Mm -hmm. Some of you, if you saw SAP. the. You know what is it? SAP, ERP systems? Some of you know. Okay, when if you saw the 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 the, the marketing of SAP, it's the ultimate system. It, it helps you in everything in the organization. Well, I know that uh, the number of systems in the organization didn't go down after they introduced SAP. So, don't believe to slogans that we came to paradise. Because, I don't know, I, I, I'm a Jew, so, but maybe your, the Christians also know. God threw us away from paradise. So, I'm not sure that in the next future we will arrive there. Blockchain. We we'll แต่คนในในในห้องนี้ก็พูดถึงบล็อกเชนว่าไหนมันซีเคียวเหลือเกินนะครับไอ้เอ็กซ์เพรสของเราเขาบอกว่าอย่าไปเชื่อมันว่ามันจะซีเคียวทั้งหมดนะครับเขาก็บอกว่าจริงๆมันอาจจะช่วยนะครับยกตัวอย่างเมตาฟอร์ได้ดีมากเลยคือบอกว่าเดี๋ยววันหนึ่งเลยกลับไปสวรรค์เนี่ยอันนี้อาจจะเป็นกระไดที่จะไปสวรรค์ได้นะแต่เขาบอกว่าตอนนี้ไอ้พวกผู้ร้ายเนี่ยก็มองหาวิธีที่จะอะไรจะปราบบล็อกเชนอยู่เหมือนกันนะเพราะฉะนั้นเนี่ยมันก็ต้องอะไรก็ต่อสู้กันไปมันก็ถึงต้องมีเฟรมเวิร์กจัดการเขาบอกน่ารักมากเขาบอกอย่าไปเชื่อเทคนิคเชื่อไม่ออกไหม so so management concept people always have a weakness okay yeah but maybe I can just add to what Ishai mentioned so why is blockchain supposed to be secure for two reasons one is that it puts data in multiple locations right so that's one element of security the second part is That it uses a standard which is called SHA-256. The expansion for that is Secure Hash Algorithm, which is 256-bit algorithm. So, so far with existing computing systems, it is uh, virtually impossible to crack an SHA-256 encrypted, uh, you know, data. It's virtually impossible. But I think Ishai made a good point. The technology is not static, right? So technology is growing and it is moving day by day. So people believe that if quantum computing becomes a reality, actually it will be very easy to break the SHA-256 algorithm, right? So one element of security, which is highly secure today, might not be as secure tomorrow with uh, new developments like quantum computing. So that's one issue. The second is. That when uh, the hash is created, it is created by data miners. You know, so there are uh, mining companies actually, which uh, have huge computing systems, and they create a hash to encrypt that data. The hash is created by miners. Now, in case more than 50% of the miners collude, yeah, which theoretically is actually a possibility. In that case, the system gets compromised. Even the Bitcoin system get Can get compromised if more than 50% of uh, the miners actually collude. So I think that uh, while blockchain is perhaps a more secure technology than other technologies today, right? So certainly it has a higher level of security. But one needs to be mindful of the technology developments that are taking place, and also the implementation of blockchain, because while Bitcoin is global. You can implement a blockchain within an organization as well, which has a completely different approach. So one needs to be a little careful 
and look at these dimensions while going ahead with the solution. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> you be smiling. ทุกท่านคะเบื้องโต๊ะของทุกท่านเนี่ยจะมีแบบสอบถามอยู่สองชุดนะคะก็ต้องขอรบกวนทุกท่านทําแบบสอบถามให้เสร็จก่อนก่อนที่เราจะลงไปพักทานข้าวกันนะคะถ้าทําเสร็จแล้วก็ทิ้งไว้ที่โต๊ะได้เลยแล้วก็เดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเจ้าหน้าที่เนี่ยจะไปตามเก็บเองนะคะขอรบกวนด้วยนะคะขอบคุณค่ะ Okay. Uh, before, before, look at me, students. Look at me and be happy. Okay. That's all. Uh, before we go to our exercise, I want to tell you some some things about exercises in general. Uh, I'm doing a lot of exercises. I believe that the exercises. On crisis management in general and cybersecurity in particular, are very important uh, to practice people uh, in uh, in almost real real world events. Uh, so we are doing a lot of exercises to see that we know what we are doing and what needs to be improved. There are several types of exercises. There are operational based that people really operate uh, on their systems, with their systems, and there are discussion based exercises which, in which you don't use your systems, you just use your head, which is even harder than to use the systems. This is Singapore, Singapore, Singapore. <laughs> This is a, an emergency exercise in Singapore's zoo. <laughs> so they exercise uh, the incident that uh, an animal escapes. How to react to this incident? Well, I never understood which animal it is. But if you, can, I don't know if it's a bear. What it is? What what animal it is? You can see that. Maybe you are a what? Yeah, it can be. Mascot. A... It's actually a mascot. <laughs> okay. So you see, this is a type of emergency exercise. This is uh, the animal escapes, and they are running after it, and uh, they capture it, and now. So this is type of emergency exercise. And of course, in these types of uh, exercises, usually you win. Yeah, a lot of organizations are doing these kind of exercises, uh, and usually you win because they are doing exactly what they are said were said to do. I don't like this kind of exercise. I mean, not that I don't like. I don't think they are enough. They are good. To practice very narrow professional skills, but they are not exercising the decision-making processes. In cybersecurity, we have operational uh, exercises in in the organizations themselves or in specific facilities, in which the professional people. Get, we call it scenarios, problems, and they have to solve it on the system. But now come the exercises in which we use decision-making processes on the managerial and business level. So most common. Exercises we call them tabletop exercises, you know, which means which mean that we sit near a table. We don't usually we don't use operational systems in these exercises. We use our heads. We can sit in one room. 
or we can see it like you, you see? This is your picture. I knew how you are going to see it, and this is you. Okay, this is, we have several groups. In this kind of exercise, by the way, the groups don't need to sit in the same room. They can sit in other rooms. Uh, we are going to do just something basic, but in more professional exercises, each group has a role. Some play this role, some other plays another role, and it's more complex than these small exercises, that, a small exercise that we are going to do. I'm also doing very large scale exercises with sometimes hundreds of people, 400, 500 from different organizations uh, with uh, top management, senior management, and dozens of other participants. Information flow, uh, these are very nice exercises. They take between three to six hours, sometimes more than one day, and they are very nice. Uh, and it's very nice to see senior management sweating because they are very brave on their regular work. They, are, you know, they tell you what to do, but when we see them in a crisis situation, they are sweating and they are afraid not to make mistakes. So again, if you want to see your general managers uh, in a less hero position, make exercises like that and you'll see how that they are human beings, not. Okay, these are scenarios. So now we will start with our exercise. For this exercise, you got three pages in Thai uh, on your table. This is your organization. Okay, you are managers in this organization. Anyone works in a bank here? No. Okay. It's good. Uh, but you see the problems are not in the exercises uh, can be relevant to many organizations. So this is you, uh, you have it. You are managers of this bank, okay? Now, exercise instructions. We will do it in several rounds. Okay, several rounds. I will give you a problem. You have to discuss it, okay? And then to come up with a plan, what we are doing. What I want you, the plans, very, very short. In brief, in points, okay? We are going to report this to this, we are going to do this, and we are, three, four bullets, very, very brief. By the way, I'm trying to train managers to think like that too, not long stories. Long stories after that in the pub, okay? We go to the pub after that? Okay, no? Why not? We are Buddhists here, so we don't drink. You don't I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. No, I don't drink. I saw, I saw, especially the ladies here, they like to drink, I saw it. Uh, but uh, you, you, you are going to come too, okay? Uh, okay, so really, very, very brief. The last line, I'm always saying managers need to work with the last line, not long stories. Uh, bullet point. Very, it's very important, well, uh, this is this gentleman there, he, he translated it, not me, so I hope he translated it okay. I'm sure he translated it okay. So I want you to take notice when you have a problem, who are the relevant stakeholders inside the organization and outside, to whom you have to contact or to talk to or to act in order to uh, solve his or their problem. Another thing, you will get 
show uh, usually a picture or something, a message. But I want you to think also not only about the specific message, but also on the general implications. What other implications can be? One very important thing in crisis management, I don't want to give now a lecture about crisis management, is all the time, although we are in a very troubling situation, all the time to think one or two steps ahead. What can happen? What are we going to do next step? Okay, uh, so uh, we will start. Uh, the first one, uh, I'll just see if you understand our game. So. You get this kind of email. Read it. An email in your organization. You come in the morning. This is the email from the Thanakar. Sent to us in the Thanakar company. Remember, you are an assurance bank. This is not your bank. You get an email like that. Now, anyone wants to tell me what he is doing or she is doing? Brief. What are you doing? You get an email like that. Now, be a little bit Israeli. Okay, more dynamic. Shout a little bit. Not so shy and polite. I mean, come on. Who wants to shout? Scream. Sorry. Call to the bank. To which bank? To this one. And what? And check about. Okay. Call. Call to the bank. To the Bank of America and check about this email. More, more answers. You see, very short, brief. What else? Are you going to fish? <laughs> we are going to eat the fish later. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, this is one answer. Don't, don't be afraid. I mean, nobody will eat you. Call the police. You got an email, you call the police. <laughs> the police will arrest you, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay. Okay, inform the information technology team about this email. Okay, why do you suspect it? Why do you call the police? Why you call the bank? Why you call the... Why? Why do you think it's fishing? So we are not sure that this is true or not. You are not sure? Yes. This is the right answer. It's not that you know that it's fishing. You suspect. And why you suspect? Just check the huh? URL address. This is the Bank of America. But, but we, this, this, ha, this has been happening so uh, many times in, in, in society, so we have to make sure. But you're working in a bank and you get an email from a Bank of America. You know, from America. This email arrived from America. But anyone can be uh, America. Everybody. <laughs> No, you need a green card for that, not everybody. Check the email, <laughs> okay. email address. Okay. So, Don't check email again, one. this is a, something unusual about it. Okay. It's not a regular, usually don't. Uh, what you don't do? You said you call the police, you call the bank. Uh, by the way, uh, you want to call the bank. To whom are you going to call? Huh? Well, 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 one second, who are you going to call? <laughs> who? Yeah. Check the uh, email address. You are going to click it? No. no. very good. Okay, so this is the don't do. Okay, you don't click anything. Okay. Okay, I see now that you become a little bit Israeli. So this table <laughs> needs more a little bit to wake up. Okay, so now we will start. And... Uh, I'll show you 
one scenario after another, each group secretly, that the other groups don't hear you this, what to do. But very briefly, after we finish, it's 10 minutes, not more, maybe five minutes. Okay, you have very short time to decide. Each representative from a group said what this group decided to do. Are you ready? Are we ready? Okay, we'll see. Okay, so we go to our next, our next slide. So we start. Okay, what are you doing? Look, you get an email, you, in one second you are doing something. You don't have all the time. I mean, if you start reading all your emails like that, you will not read them. You look at your emails, one second you read an email. What are you doing? Here, please. What are you doing? Shake what happened in the Oh, sorry? Asking who? So, you, you say that we are the you received this email. What are you doing? So we are not we are not the the, the managing level of this organization. Or? Yes, yes. You are in the organization, and you receive this email. So what? This, 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 this is in our organization. Yes, everything. This is in your organization. You receive. You receive, what are you going to do? Why you need to check? What happened, what is the, why is happening? 
because uh, they think as a manager, so they want to call back the HR. Oh, and but see you what got happened. an email from the HR. Any other response? <laughs> what are you doing? Don't look so afraid. I mean, it's. Uh... <laughs> Sorry? Call, call to HR department. Okay, you also say we call the HR department. So this group check the HR, this group call the HR call. department. Okay. okay, what are you doing? Come on. Also call. Call HR, HR department. Okay, you. Don't. Uh, I want to see somebody brave to say something else. One, don't open the attachment and check uh, that the uh, from email from. The address of the email. Okay, the address is the HR department. No, sometimes we can see the detail that HR department. Uh, what is the, the do department. domain of the HR you department? See, the domain is uh, perfect. No problem with the domain. Okay, you said, but you said something else. Not to open the file. Anybody else? What here? What are you saying? Why? To check whether this is from the real email within the organization or from outside. So I'm going to meet the to IT department. No, I'm not going to call. I'm not going to call HR department. I'm going to call IT department to see if this email is real or not. Is it authentic or not? This is a true address. Okay. Now. This is the domain of the real. It's the domain of the real. Yes. But you will not get point. Or point. Okay. <laughs> you want to go to the pub? Okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure that I received an email yesterday. Okay. You see, he's elder than you. He has experience. Okay. But you, one day you will be elder too. Okay. คือเขาบอกว่าเขาจะตรวจสอบว่าเมื่อวานนี้ได้รับอีเมลหรือเปล่าจากข้อความถ้าอ่านข้อความบอกว่าเมื่อวานส่งมาใช่ไหมฮะเขาก็จะเช็คดูว่าเมื่อวานเนี้ยได้รับอีเมลหรือเปล่าเชิญเชิญฮะกลุ่มนี้เชิญเลยครับคือจะบอกว่าผมจะเรียกคนมาประชุมทันทีครับทุกคนที่เกี่ยวข้องครับ so as a manager he would like he would like to call the meeting with all the key meeting with all the okay stakeholder with this Particular. I, want to, I want to see their faces when they are calling <laughs> everybody for this email. Okay, look. What? Ah, ah. Now you started. Okay. Yeah. I, I, okay. I want. I want to check my salary record, which is a different from the old or not. Check the salary record of of my. Yeah, previous ah, salary. Consistent. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now we have a lot of uh, ah. Okay. Just, just add more. I will take this picture on this uh, email okay. and then lie to the HR. Okay. She said, "I'm going to print screen this and send it to the HR to see." Okay. Now we are talking about cybersecurity. The last thing I want you to understand from this lecture is that now you are going to suspect. In every email that you get, okay. Otherwise, you stop working, okay. So I don't want you to stop working. What I want to say: be careful and look if something is something irregular, something abnormal, okay. Don't now, if your boyfriend now sends you, <laughs> oh dear, let's meet. In the pub at eight o'clock in the evening. I mean, don't call the police in the meeting. It's okay. Answer him. Okay, I'll be glad to. So, okay, don't suspect every email. We cannot live like that or any mess. But if there is something strange, so here actually there is nothing strange at first sight. The, by the way, all the slides that I'll show you in this exercise are, are real. Uh, Are from real events, so the first, the first sight, there is nothing wrong here. The only thing that may make you think that something is wrong is whether this is 
relevant. I mean, you really got previous message about it. Oh, this is why you get it at all. Only then you start thinking and being careful. Okay, but if it's, this is your job, you are working, working in the accounting, and you get regular messages like that from the HR, okay, don't stop on each email because you have to work. Okay, so now that we are warmed up, we will move to, we have uh, many problems, okay? Okay, let me, because, let, like, let me summarize a little okay, bit. Okay, okay. 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 ผิดสังเกตหรือว่ามันมีอะไรแปลกๆที่เราไม่เคยเห็นมาก่อนหรือเปล่าถ้าอย่างนั้นเนี่ยเราเริ่มสัสเปกแต่ว่าไม่ได
What do you mean? You look at the Twitter and you see this. What do you mean? What do you want to verify? How do you know who he is? You look at the Twitter. Uh, this is what you get. I, okay, I understand. Okay, any more? <laughs> Excuse me, because this is from the Cyber Army Command, so we we concerned about the uh, security of the country, so we report this. This. Uh, listen, uh, you report to the whom? To the uh, security office of Thailand, Thai security Thailand. office of Thailand, to sh to let's, check about. Let's start the security of the bank, okay? Not everybody is calling to the security of Thailand. Because we have we have the just like a okay. ad hoc group that to check from the security uh, security uh, of the country that to check about any any uh, early club mail that okay. link to the, the security. You listen what she's saying? Okay. Any more? Yes. It depends my position in the bank, but normally, but but normally is the is. If the sentence from the Twitter depends what depend on the source I mean, of every <laughs> answer that starts with it depends. Yep. It means that you don't know what to do. So doesn't depends on anything. This is what you have. Okay, I ignore this Twitter because I don't I don't mind about. You don't mind about it. About you don't it. do anything. Why you don't do anything? Because they are very afraid. What uh, what why? I it came from Twitter. So. There is nothing. Okay. Okay. So here, to, she reports. Yeah. She uh, here. They wanted to validate the Twitter account. I don't know how you can validate a Twitter account. And what are you doing there? <laughs> <laughs> they have. And what, how do you validate? This is their account. If President Trump. Send something by Twitter. How do you verify that it is really him? I mean, if it is stupid, it is him. But, uh, but okay. Uh, in times like that, we really want more information. But sometimes we cannot have it. Okay. Reporting to the security authority, and you say, I don't mind about it. Any other? Uh, f first, firstly, um, we have to, to, to check the information first. Are there any cases like this happened before? If, if it, it happened before? If it happened before, we ignore like that group. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, Maybe so because you see, there, we, are two, there are two uh, alternatives here. One say we have to report and we have to act, and the other other uh, opposition say, okay, don't worry, be happy. Okay, now you get this one, another one. This is the same thing, but we have the second one. Okay, and this one. แต่ว่าเราได้รับข้อความเป็นในรูปแบบของ Twitter เท่านั้นเองนะเราจะทำยังไงดีในฐานะเรารับผิดชอบธนาคารอันนี้อยู่นะครับ Yes please Okay please Inform Inform the IT department and who are in charge to do further action To take action to the IT department What do you want them to do Check Check Okay Report to the IT department. What else? She points at you. <laughs> you don't pass the microphone to one another. Okay, what are you doing this group? Ah, she said that. I say that. Okay. We think that. Oh, that's good. We think that. Okay. Come on. We think that we should report to the police. Report to the police. Actually, she said she recommends that there is a police that taking care of the bank okay. system. Okay. Okay. Report to the police. What else? You gentlemen, you said that uh, you are not worried. You ignore. You start to be worried. No. Okay. <laughs> Tough guy. Okay. <laughs> 
you also said that um, you didn't do anything in the previous one. Now you are doing something. Uh, I think we firstly we have to uh, look at the risk management in in our um, our organization as okay. well to check is if uh, there is case something like that. How how to manage? Um, you know, it's maybe. A meeting. Yeah. Okay, a meeting. It's all always a good solution. No, no, not not the meeting. <laughs> Not, not the meeting. Oh, probably in most meetings we don't decide anything. We just talk. Okay. Decisions. You remember the Greek word for crisis? Decisions. I want your decisions. Not we make meetings. We. Oh, okay. 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 Okay, this deserves, of course, a more active reaction. Now, in, also in the previous one, you talked about reporting. Reporting in, in times of, of incident is very important. It's very important. However, you need to know to whom to report. When we prepare a plan, uh, incident response plan, we prepare to whom to report this and these occasions. I mean, it's not that everybody calls the police, or not everybody calls to the Interpol, or everybody calls to the prime minister or the king. I mean, there are, or there need to be, procedures to whom to report. Okay? <laughs> นะครับเพื่อที่จะทําให้องค์กรเราสามารถที่จะเทคแอคชั่นได้ทันทีนะครับคือครายเซอร์เนี่ยมันต้องเร็วที่สุดมันมันจะปล่อยนานไม่ได
we are the decision maker, so we just uh, announce to every every sector that which if you see this uh, this type of in in your computer, what should you do? If you see any uh, any side of any computer, what should you do? So you have to know the step step by step. Then then we uh, make the procedure for the, everyone to know that okay. anything happen. You what would you should you do? Okay, you take it uh, further. <laughs> okay. No, I like it. I mean, you, she acts like a general. I mean, she moves all the forces and it's okay. You'll be a general one day. Okay, you. We will take a picture. You are getting a picture? Yeah. Here, and he then, takes a, he takes a and picture. Then, and then send to the okay. IT center. Okay. Because the, okay, so like her? Before, uh, before but, to do the next step. Okay. You make the, the, the organization uh, in the confused. Uh, uh, Yes, gentlemen. Uh, take photo of this picture by uh, Anne. You don't and, listen. And, but yes, I listen already. Okay, she but said. I, uh, she said first. Okay, she but I, I I will unpack them. Okay. I will unpack them. Unpack. I mean. Uh, turn, unpack. Turn, turn, unpack. Turn off. The turn off. I mean, take off the electricity. And system totally system of the internet or everything. Oh, oh, no, one, one, so this one, 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 <laughs> I thought only of the PC you take off the cable, but now you take the cable of all the systems in the organization. Okay, shut down, complete shut down of all the systems in the organization. Okay. Okay, คือกลุ่มนี้ก็ชัดดาวน์หมดเลยใช่ไหมฮะที่เขาพูดใช่ไหมฮะจำได้ไหมฮะสองอันสุดท้ายถ้ามันไปไม่ไหวจริงๆถ้าไม่ชัดดาวน์หรือจะให้ระบบรันไปเรื่อยนี่ก็กลุ่มนี้เลือกที่จะชัดดาวน์นะครับ Okay. So you see, also here we have two two different alternatives. One is, uh, I would say, a narrow one. It's to call the help desk with a picture, without a picture, with a smile or not. Uh, but to talk to the help desk and another one, the generals here, they said, okay, we now uh, uh, say to everybody, inform everybody in the organization, and you said we shut down all the systems. Yeah, okay. Now. This is, you remember when I finished my lecture, I told you the shutdown uh, is a, a real problem in such cases. And we have to be very careful because if you now shut down the system, let me tell you what happened. I can assure you that if later it will be discovered that there was no attack, the general manager will have to look for another job. <laughs> so, so not you maybe, but if you are his consultant, maybe you also will have to. So we have to be very careful not to run too quickly to to more general, more more yeah, not to to, to more general solutions. Not to okay, we have to look, but we have to do it fast. I mean, when we send to the help desk such. Uh, and notice we need also to wait and to see that they are answering us very fast. But we are in a state of emergency, and this is okay if you have a problem like that, immediately to send to the IT help desk. But look, if we are not in a state of emergency, and it's written here that your PC is a new one, you got it yesterday, would you be bothered about it? I mean, you'll be angry that your computer doesn't work. Will you suspect that this is a cyber? You got a new computer, it happens every day. You get a new computer and it doesn't work. So here again, what I want to tell you, it depends on the context of these occurrences, on the context. If we are in a state of emergency and we are expecting a cyber attack, then we have to be very cautious. Everything we notify immediately. But in an everyday, if this is happening, yes, you call to the help desk and tell them, and shout at them, what, why did you buy me this computer? But this doesn't mean that immediately this is a cyber issue. So again, don't think that everything that happened, every problem is a cyber problem, okay? Use your heads. Twitter, so, 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 so
นะครับด้วยนี้เนี่ยประโยคหนึ่งที่เขาถึงเติมเข้ามาก็คือว่าคอมพิวเตอร์นี่เป็นคอมพิวเตอร์อันใหม่นะฮะคือนี่เป็นประสบการณ์คือบางครั้งเวลาเราเจอสถานการณ์ที่มันน่ากลัวแล้วแล้วมันเจออะไรที่มันประหลาดอีกคราวนี้เราจะเริ่มแพนิคแล้วนะพอเริ่มแพนิคเนี่ยบางครั้งเราจะตัดสินใจไม่เป็นเหตุเป็นผลหรือ irrational แล้วอันนี้คือสิ่งที่เขาพยายามจะเตือนเราเรื่อยๆเพราะว่านั่นคือนะฮะประโยชน์ของการมี cyber security คือมันจะเตือนสติเราให้เรานะฮะมีเหตุมีผลสังเกตดูแต่ว่าอย่างที่สุดเรามีการเตรียมความพร้อมนะครับอันนี้คือข้อความที่เขาพยายามจะสื่อให้เรานะครับ Let's go to the third one uh, Now you are managers of the organization and your help desk received several <coughs> notifications like that and he tells you this <coughs> you are now the management of the bank and you get a notice from the IT department, from the IT help desk, that the problem is not only in one computer, but in several computers. And they suspect, the IT suspect, that there is some malware. What are you doing? Ah, life becomes more complicated. I mean, the answer is not there. The answer is here, if you talk. I mean, you can stare at the, this and uh, no answer will come out of it. จะตัดสินใจยังไงต่อนะครับเจอสถานการณ์นี้แล้วจะทำยังไงต่อคือ crisis คือ decision นะครับ Waiting for IT. Yes. Okay. 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 Answer, we stop working with the computers, with all the computers, but only some of the people can't work, the other can. So, okay, you are saying we don't work with computers anymore, we just, ah, they are going to work manually. What do you mean work manually? I'm asking it because there are many people who think this is a good solution to start to work manually when we don't have computers. What, what do you mean? What are you doing manually? So, this group is saying that if you do it like this, you can use manual tasks. You can use manual tasks. What do you work? On computer operation. If that uh, department is have to work with the the client. We have to do manually because what? Okay, wh where are you working? Right now, at the moment, or in the organization? No, no, no. In, in, in your in your real life, I mean. Um, investment manager. Investment yeah. manager. Yeah. Oh, you are good. <laughs> Can we make some business later? Okay. <laughs> so you really think if you cannot work with the computer, you are wor going to work manually? As I said, there are many people who think this is the right solution, and I see it in many plans that if the computers don't work, we will use manual computer, uh, manual working processes. Now, you heard a lot of uh, lectures during this week about the digital economy, digital society. One of the meaning, or the meanings of these trends is that we cannot work without computers. 
So what kind of work you can do manually with your customers? <laughs> ah. <laughs> This is what I'm telling to all the organizations now. Leave aside this dream, fantasy, that we can go back and work manually. We cannot go back and work manually. Maybe we can do very small uh, jobs manually, but we cannot give service to the customers manually. How can you do it? You don't have systems, you don't have data. No, we are completely dependent on information systems. And that is why the cybersecurity is such a threat. So please, if anyone in your organization tell we are going to go back manually, you say, please explain me, what can we do manually? with our Excuse customers, me. with our data. In, yes. In, in our organization, when it's happened like this, we stop the land and internet. But we still work on the computer, stand alone on computer. This is something else. You're very good. You want to be a hacker? To come? No? <laughs> she says something else. We don't stop working with the computers, but we shut, we cut ourselves from the external world. And this is really something that organizations that have an attack, but only certain types of attacks that come from outside, because some attacks come from the inside. And if they come from the inside, this will not help. But if they come from outside, we call them DDoS attacks. These most common attacks on the websites if they come from outside, sometimes we cut the internet connection to the external world. Okay, so manual solution, I don't support it. I don't think it's realistic in this digital society, this digital economy. Okay, try to live two hours without your <laughs> smartphone probably will get all of you into a deep depression <laughs> and uh, okay คือเขาบอกพยายามจะบอกว่าดิจิทัลอีโคโนมีหรือโซซายตี้เราผ่านมาเนี่ยมันต้องให้ความสําคัญเพราะว่าเมื่อกี้คุณยกตัวอย่างว่านึกถึงเราไม่มีมือถือสักเราก็ต้องเป็นต้องมีมาตรการในการดูข้างนอกและเราก็ต้องมีมาตรการในการปฏิบัติถ้ามันมีการอัตแท็กจากข้างในอันนี้คือสิ่งที่พยายามจะส
Any answer here? What system you check? The website. First is website. And huh? the, give him the microphone. Listen. Yes, yes <laughs> please. Uh, check check the core banking system. Is do correctly. Do nothing. If the system system something wrong. Okay, we, you we, check we, the system. Yeah. But it takes time to check all the systems in the bank. Okay. To, I mean, you, you have can't. customers. You have very angry customers. Yes. What are you doing with them? Uh, I want you to look at the stakeholders. You all the time go inside to check the systems, which is very good. But you have very angry customers. What are you going to do with them? We communicate to customer first to apologize for the maybe system is not support during this time. And After that, Apologize, yes. okay. Yeah, and? Okay, if it's okay. So he apologizes. How do you apologize to the customers? Uh, we are now on the website. You don't have a website. You have a problem in the website. You have a problem the website. Maybe we, we uh, send the SMS message to, to all your customers. Yes. Now, and maybe okay. Facebook I or, want or to social. With any more, any more, I'll come back to this. Okay, because the customer's issue is very important. Any more, or we'll continue here. Okay. 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 Let's the call center check is that the error from customer that input some wrong password or something like that, or because they don't succeed to view their account correctly. What does it mean for that? that don't succeed. You, see, you know, in banks now, you enter to the website yeah? and you can see your account. But but uh, but it's but already you something wrong. You cannot see or oh, there are wrong numbers there. Uh, you can, but you are. This is what they are saying to her. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Any more? Uh, I'm not sure that the con condition is not clear, but I think from my, my own, I have opinion, okay. experience before. Uh, you should, okay, apologize to the customer and then talk in detail, ask them what happened. Okay, to inquire what is happening. Yeah. How do you do it? Uh, what happened uh, what before? Ha well, how do you do it? Yeah, yeah. How, 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 do do how, do how do you ask them? How ask them that. What do you do? What did you do before they have the wrong? You cannot go into the bank we website. What would you do? I will something about customers. Okay, it's very well to talk with the IT systems and everything, but I. In the meantime, we have problems with our customers. And believe me, when you start having problems with customers, you start having the real problems. Okay? I always say that failure in systems, it's not a crisis. The crisis starts when the external stakeholders start to be angry with you. Can you move customers on? are very important. คือในมุมมองเขาคือจริงๆความรู้เร็วของระบบเนี่ยเป็นเรื่องภายในนะครับแต่ว่าเมื่อไหร่ที่มันเริ่มขยับออกไปถึงข้างนอกเนี่ย
calls and complaint about this, you do what you said, asking questions, what exactly were, we gather intelligence. Okay, we use the customers to understand better what is the situation. Okay, and then we also apologize and said we are doing our best. But we don't send SMS or we don't immediately publish it in all the news uh, sites that we have a problem because then all of our customers and all of the media will jump on us and will kill us, okay? So these are customers. Be aware customers are very, very important, maybe the most important stakeholders that we have, again, also for governmental agencies. <laughs> เราอยู่เพิ่งตกใจคือถ้าเราไปประกาศให้คนอื่นทุกคนรับรู้หมดคราวนี้ <coughs> นะครับในการซักถามซึ่งเค้าบอกว่าคําถามที่เราถามไปเมื่อกี้ดีคือให้มันเกิดอะไรขึ้นทําไมถึงนะทําอะไรมันถึงเป็นอย่างนี้คร
uh, 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 attacks now, these days, in the last year. So you might get it in your home as well. So what are we doing? 12 hours, if you don't pay in bitcoins, your files will be encrypted, you cannot use them. Life is difficult. I didn't promise you any roses garden. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Here is a brave one. Here is a brave one. I think for for this for this case, um, the the problem is more crisis, and crisis, crisis. More yeah. serious crisis. Uh, yeah. And also the um, the problem is from outside, that that we cannot identify where 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 it's from. Yeah. So, uh, I would like to go back to the suggestion that that she already mentioned. We might uh, chat. <laughs> uh, we, we might shut down the, the internet first to what are you doing with this? firstly I will tell the IT or the CEO or anyone uh, uh, on the list of list management because it's crisis as I mentioned okay, before you are reporting it. Okay. yeah Um, I will. <laughs> I will be. <laughs> yeah, and also. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and also, um, I I will tell, or uh, you know encourage the, the people in the organization to calm down. Don't worry. Okay, and don't worry, be happy. This is all no, not, not happy. <laughs> not, okay. not happy. But uh, we, 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 can, we, we cannot for, for... But why should we be calm? What are you going to do? If we cannot solve the, the problem by ourselves, how, how can we do? Actually, yeah. Actually, uh, as you mentioned, it's about bit, 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 bit. Uh, it's about the the Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin, as you mentioned, if someone wants to the Bitcoin. Yeah, but we don't have Bitcoin actually, so. <laughs> We don't have Bitcoin. Most organizations don't have Bitcoins. <laughs> so when I'm doing exercises like that, they always say, okay, we will bring Bitcoins. So I'm asking them, where are you going to bring these Bitcoins from? Nobody saw a Bitcoin. Okay? Have you ever seen a Bitcoin? Everybody talks about it, but does it really exist? I don't know. Okay, we don't have Bitcoins, but... But... you have Bitcoins. But this is a real... A real issue. Yes. Organizations don't have it, they don't know how to get it. Okay, yes. and if you have bitcoins, what are you going to do? If we have bitcoin. Yeah, what are you going to do with that? We have to check in our you know, like uh, the, the, the the bank or something like that. Maybe it's already but what are you going to do? Keep our bitcoin. You have bitcoins. What are you going to do with them? Keep our bitcoin. Okay, she, okay, we arrived to the point that she bought <coughs> bitcoins. Any other? Yes, please. You want to go for lunch? You have to solve this problem quickly. For my organization, uh, we send warning to our department uh, for that uh, we have this issue. Okay, and then, it's okay. And then uh, the IT... The and then the IT uh, network <coughs> admin will uh, 
close the SMB port, the port that uh, this ransomware come. Okay. All of you are checking. All of you are reporting, which is very good. But the question, the real and only question in these situations, are you going to pay or not? No. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is very, a very brave, a very brave answer. No. We don't talk with terrorists. <laughs> you heard politicians say that? And after that, they have secret talks with the terrorists. <laughs> Now, suppose that you are a manager of a bank, okay, and you don't pay. You are very brave. But what happens to all the data? You cannot use it. You cannot give services to customers. You cannot see transactions. What happens to you? Now, think about the organization. Think about the customers. So what are you going to do, pay or not pay? Still no pay. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to destroy the bank ability to operate. <coughs> no data. ตอนนี้เขาให้คิดแล้วนะฮะว่าจากข้อมูลเนี่ยคราวนี้ถ้าเราจะจ่ายหรือไม่จ่ายนี่คือเขาเขาเขาขอมาแล้วคือเขาดีแมนนะว่าจะต้องจ่ายเราก็ต้องตอนนี้ตามตัดสินใจของเรามันที่เขาบอกมันไม่ใช่ว่ารีพอร์ตหรือไม่รีพอร์ตอะไรต่างๆจะจ่ายหรือไม่จ่ายแล้วสถานการณ์อย่างนี้ถูกไหมฮะถ้าเราไม่จ่ายเราก็ต้องคิดถึงว่าอะไรจะตามมาเพราะคราวนี้ข้อมูลใช้ไม่ได้การบริการเราหยุดหมดถูกไหมครับอันนี้คือสิ่งที่สถานการณ์สถานการณ์เนี้ยเราต้องการคําตอบนี้แล้วไม่ใช่ว่าจะรายงานไปโทรเช็คไอทีไม่ใช่แล้วจ่ายหรือไม่จ่าย Are you going to pay or not? No. <laughs> yeah, please. What? Uh, you you should know more. Because pay is very easy. You don't have time to know more. <laughs> 12 hours. Look. I mean, I mean. <laughs> Look. You don't have time. We, we, we Clock should. is ticking. We should uh, find out another. This is a crisis. You don't have time. You don't have more information. You don't know who sent it to you. You <laughs> see that there are problems in your systems. I mean, it's not just something in the sky. Are you going to pay or not? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. คือคือเขาบอกนี้นะฮะหนึ่งเวลาไม่มีนะครับสองเนี่ยเราไม่รู้ว่าใครทำ Excuse me. Can I have uh, yeah, some? Uh, can I have some idea? Ah. Yeah. Be because normally the bank have the uh, backup backup data, so we can we can continue to serve the customer. So this is also a good uh, answer. Sometimes. Oh, many times organizations have uh, uh, backup data, yeah. but let me tell you something about it. Uh, hackers are some hackers. Not not all the hackers are very smart. I mean, like regular people, they are smart. Not, most of them are not smart. Like all people, they are few smart. Most of them are not so smart. But some hackers know how to put, inject malware in your system that will sleep there for a few months. So when you make up the backup, you might find that your backup files are also infected. Now, to end this story, because you don't want to pay. <laughs> <laughs> What do you care? It's the bank's money, not your, uh, you're not your money. No, no. Huh? <laughs> yes. She, she wants to be a manager, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She <laughs> may, I, I, may I ask uh, the question regarding this case? Is this happening in Israel? Yes. No, and but not only in Israel. I showed you the one cry, the one uh, about in May this year that attacked. This is exactly was a ransom, a uh, ransom like that, that attacked. Most almost. Hundred countries at the same time. So this is a real issue, and I'm telling you, the ransom attacks, the ransomware malware, are the fastest growing attacks in the last year.
I don't know what will happen next. And so I'll tell you what happened in Israel. I cannot talk uh, very freely about it. Uh, and with this I want to end because I want you to understand as I started that cyber attacks can harm any one of us. Even in Israel that we are very self-confident and very arrogant. There was about two years, one and a half years ago, in one of the financial uh, sector institute in Israel, all of a the sudden they got an email. By the way, all the messages here are from real events. I'm telling you the truth, everything. So an email like that arrived to the office of the uh, CEO, general director. She is a woman, by the way, in Israel. Uh, in the, uh, the head of the central bank is a woman. The vice, her, her second one in the central bank is a woman. Uh, and in, among the three largest bank, in two, there are women uh, in general bank. So if you don't succeed here, you can come to Israel. And do <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, they got an email uh, saying uh, that uh, we enter to the, your system, like something like that, and uh, they sent a print screen with details, real details from the database, I mean, as a proof that they uh, entered to the systems. Uh, of course, in Israel, everybody started uh, uh, to work hard on it. But they didn't succeed to, to find out where this email came from. It was sure that it didn't come from Israel. Now, since Israel is uh, in a rather uh, delicate uh, situation, uh, one of the suspicions was that it was an attack by another country, by another state. And uh, this is a sort of uh, uh, declaration of war in the Israel situation. So all the agencies were involved. And uh, then after a while, arrived an email, something like that. We want uh, money, uh, and if you uh, don't pay us, and, and it always into a window of time. I mean, you don't have all the time to decide. You have only a few hours to decide about it. This is, this is why it is very uh, pressing. So uh, they got uh, an email. Again, they didn't know where it comes from. And uh, now they started to, to make a discussion about the real problem, to pay or not to pay. And this is the question when you get something like that. You make all the checks and so, uh, of course, there were those who were against it. There were those who were in favor to pay uh, because uh, the f financial institutes are very, very sensitive. I mean, it's very easy to sit here and to shout, we are not going to pay, and after that, the bank is going bankrupt. I mean, it's not an easy situation. And there is no one question, but what they did, and after that I worked with them, with this uh, financial institute, they decided something more tricky. They decided we are going to pay a little bit, but we do it in order to, f to try to get more intelligence, more information. When you make interaction with the person that is attacking you, you have better opportunity uh, to, to find out who he is. Because if he sends only one email, you don't have enough information. It's very difficult to find. But if you start to make sort of conversation with him, then you have more possibilities to track where it comes from. So they pay and they started to track, uh, and it succeeded. They found it. You know where they found it? In, In Bangkok. Bangkok. It was an internal worker that uh, was fired. I, and I'm telling you a true story because it was published in Israel. A, a, a worker that was fired just before he was 
he left the organization. He took from his own, because he had access to very sensitive data, he copied it, and then he went to Bangkok. He had other two people who helped him. And then from here, uh, he did what he did. And uh, because uh, after they found him here, uh, well, he was sentenced. And then it was published, uh, all the issue in Israel. So what you can learn from it? First, that this is a real life. The question of whether to pay or not is really a difficult one. So all of you say no, but I'm telling you it's a difficult one because you have other responsibilities as well. But the solution always, sometimes you have solutions in between. No, it's not always black and white. You have to think how we can do things and finally win the battle or this battle. And the last thing I want to say that Bangkok is a dangerous place. All the seas from Israel are coming here. So, no, this is just a joke. Many Israelis are coming here for vacation. Many, many. That's why it was very easy for him to come here and nobody knew. So, this is, to end it, don't be now very sad. You didn't pay. Now you go to eat and uh, eat well. <laughs> and, uh, okay. Okay, and I have a Thai solution. <laughs> okay, and I have a pack break. Uh, what do you say, general manager? <laughs> she thinks, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. I just ha has one. one. One recommendation that I, I would like to recommendation from you. For me. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Now I, you are my boss. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. As as you mentioned that for right now this is the real situation that occur and and is from Bangkok. So if you are uh, my advisor, what what do you recommend for Thailand no, no, on no, this no, issue? Lady, lady, this is a business. First you pay me <laughs> โอเคนะครับก็เดี๋ยวคือตกลงเนี่ยมันเป็นคําถามถ้าเจออย่างนี้ฟึบเราก็ทีมมาตรการจะจ่ายไม่จ่ายแต่กรณีของเขาก็คือว่าเขาต้องการจะรู้จักกับคนที่อยู่ฝั่งตรงข้ายมากที่สุดด้วยนี้มันถึงใช้การทยอยจ่ายนะครับแล้วสุดท้ายก็ฉักไปฉักมาถึงรู้ว่ามากบดานที่กรุงเทพแต่ว่าเป็นการจากข้างในจากคนข้างในไม่ได้จากข้างนอกนะครับคือเป็นคนพนักงานบริษัทธนาคารที่ถูกไล่ออกนะครับแล้วก็มาที่เมืองไทยคือเมืองเจงจริงแบงคอกนี่เป็นหับในการทําไซเบอร์อะแท็กนะครับครับอันนี้เป็นที่รู้กันอยู่แล้วนะครับใช่ครับเป็นทับใหญ่ก็ประมาณนี้ครับแต่ว่าเขาบอกว่ากรุงเทพนี่ก็มีมีมีมีเป็นแหล่งต้นกําเนิดในหลายที่นะครับขอบคุณนะครับตบมือให้เขาหน่อยนะครับ